What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Tyler, and this CIF Boys Basketball Highlight is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company, and all of our Cabrillo coverage is sponsored by the Cone family. Buckle up for this one, a Division 4A Boys Basketball quarterfinal here on the west side, Temecula Valley taking on Cabrillo. Jags head coach Chris Spencer locked in for this one, has the program further than they've ever been before. Credit to guys like Mason Johnson and Lincoln Dean. Both have been putting in the work, and they both played a big part in this game. Silk Sonic said to leave the door open tonight, so spacious confines as the Jags host the Golden Bears. And a young team, but they can shoot it. Freshman Jeremiah Prophet getting his big night started, but Cabrillo also in rhythm from the jump. Jeremy Sakig with the lay, then Dean showing the oven was preheated for this one, gets the floater, and then the elbow jumper is cash. Number 11 went off in this one, plenty more from him. Then Taj Jackson drills a three. Taj must be an abbreviation for thinking about jumpers because he was ready to pull it. Then Johnson, great job after the spin. These teams just trading blows back and forth. Then Profit predicts the future with a three point play. He's hyped as the visitors go up by five. Then Dean, the step back and the splashdown, deep in his bag like the last french fry. And then it's Irvin Choice who decides on option three, and we've got a track meet going here in the first quarter, but earnings minus expenses, in other words, net profit, puts Temecula Valley up by seven. The freshman had 15 in the first quarter. Woo! The Jags looking to make up that deficit quickly as Caleb Curry floats in a pair, then Saki off the lean, scoops that one up and in. Then it's Johnson, the facilitator. Back to Dean, give me all three of these. Boom, it is now 28-28 in a flash. Again, buckle up. Golden Bears looking to work it inside. Liam Hodgkinson scores. And then Profit gonna deposit another one on the block. But right back comes Cabrillo. Dean with the penetration. Hits Agent Zero in the corner, and that one is pure. Jags go up by three. Crowd is in a frenzy <laughs> with the timeout. You can see the gym is rocking as Cabrillo's in front. But Profit would tie it with a three, though this would be Temecula Valley's last score for a while. The Jags would race into halftime on a 9-0 run, a selective drive by choice for two, and then off this miss, Dean is more than a shooter, gonna finish through contact. He had 18 in the first half as Cabrillo leads 44 to 35 at recess. And this clip's just kinda gonna show you what the third quarter was like. It was definitely sloppy uh, for both sides. The offense was not pretty, just shots stopped falling, especially after how crazy the first quarter was. It took almost four minutes to get our first bucket in this third quarter, and we only had one free throw on the board during that time. So, goose eggs pretty much on both sides. Temecula Valley was on an eight minute and 42 second scoring drought, yikes. But as soon as Lincoln Dean got a clean look, the drought was over, bang from distance. And then again, I mean, apologies for going all swaggy P with the no look camera work, but there's only one place that shot was going, bottom, Cabrillo up 16 on a 16-0 run. But backdoor cut for profit, keep the change, finally ends that scoring drought that lasted more than a quarter of game time. Then Taj Jackson gets the three as the Golden Bears definitely getting their groove back at that point. But so was Mason Johnson off the Dean dime. Then MJ hard to the rim. Catch yourself a body, young man. Oh my goodness. You can see the crowd all on their feet after that one. Unbelievable. I mean, damn, Mason, what that man do to you. A special moment for the junior who had 17 points and 16 rebounds tonight. Cabrillo leads by eight after three quarters, so still feeling good. But Temecula Valley continue to chip away. Jackson and then Hodgkinson go inside for buckets. But like a good neighbor, Lincoln was there. When the Jags needed a big shot, another three. Cabrillo just trying to stay composed. We're, we're in front, let's just keep doing our thing. Then yanks the crossover and rips the nylon. Lincoln Dean with the 30 piece tonight, just feeding off that crowd. Cabrillo up 65-55. Unfortunately, Temecula Valley would go on a crucial 13-1 run in response. Profit drained a three, then Jackson from the free throw line. Jags struggling with the full court press. Jackson again rolls in another jump shot. He had 18 points. Now Elijah York at the free throw line ties it. The comeback complete. It's 66 all with 89 seconds left. 
Then off the offensive rebound, Profit scoops it up and in. Golden Bears now lead by two, just over a minute left. But back the other way, it's Johnson. Bucket and the foul. His free throw gave Cabrillo the lead, but Temecula Valley would tie it up. So now with 20 seconds left, Irvin Choice, chance for the lead, goes up and down. It's in. The crowd is going nuts, but hold on. The refs immediately point to those straps above the hoop. If the ball touches the basket support at all, it is an immediate dead ball. Let's go back to the replay. Watch that strap, just the second one from the left. As the ball goes up, you can see it wiggle just a little bit. The ref did call it right away. Just a crazy bounce, unlucky for Cabrillo. The home crowd, obviously not pleased, but it does look like the right call just oh so close. So Temecula Valley with 12 seconds, a chance to win it the other way. Looks like they're gonna get a great look. Ball gets loose, goes to the backcourt, and a backcourt violation is called. So Cabrillo gets it with two seconds left. Chance for a miracle. They're going to Lincoln Dean, gets a pretty good look. Oh, and it rims out the iron unkind, and we are headed to overtime, 69-69. I mean, that would have been a legendary shot for Lincoln Dean, but instead we get bonus basketball. After Temecula Valley scores, Khalil Williams floats this one in, and we're tied up. Then next time down the floor, Johnson drives from the elbow. That's a great take, 73-71 Cabrillo but a turnover out of pressure, an unfortunate theme for Cabrillo tonight, leads to this bucket for York, and we're tied. Then with 30 seconds left, Profit loses it out of bounds, but a foul is called. He's gonna put Temecula Valley in front. Then when he misses the second, York gets the huge offensive rebound. Timeout, Golden Bears, so let's reset. They're up by one with 26 seconds left. Cabrillo's forced to foul. Jackson would hit both free throws. The Golden Bears 20 of 24 at the line tonight, so the lead is three. We're under 15 seconds left. Cabrillo needs a three ball. Pass goes to Williams. He gets a decent look. No good. Johnson with the rebound looking for Dean, but it goes into the back court. That's going to be a turnover. And that means more free throws coming for Temecula Valley. They would hit both. They score the final five points of the game all at the free throw line. And a historic season for Cabrillo ends in a heartbreaker in the quarterfinals. I mean, what a basketball game. 78-73 is the final. Got to give respect to both teams for a game well played, hard fought, entertaining, and just tough bounces for the home team tonight. But salute to the West Side for supporting this team, this program, this school, giving a deserved standing ovation after the game. This group set a school record for wins, first playoff appearance since 2013, first ever playoff wins for pro this program. Congrats to the Cabrillo Jaguars. Absolutely nothing to hang their heads about after this season. If you want coverage of the rest of the basketball playoffs in Long Beach and all other sports in the LBC, you're definitely in the right spot. The562.org, your home for Long Beach sports.